<laughs> oh goodness. So, in case you're wondering, why the hell are you going to a job interview in a thinking cap hat? That's right, you guys see my awesome hat? I got it at Goodwill for like 50 cents. Because I probably have a lice. 50 cent lice! You got a hat, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, now this is an old ass hat. I'm pretty sure I don't have lights. Or I would have, I would have had it a lot worse for a lot longer. Um, <laughs> I always get so paranoid that I have something that I'm, I might not have. You know, like cancer. I'm constantly paranoid about that. Um, turns out it's just good old fibromyalgia. Uh, you know, I just realized that I forgot to bring my cowbell. God fucking damn it, Amy. You need it for the job interview. <laughs> this is why you should hire me. Ding. <laughs> you have any idea? <laughs> Like, what if I just was, like, that, that, like, life comedian? Like, I just was a comedian, like, every aspect. Like, <laughs> this is me doing comedy at a job interview. <laughs> oh, God. So, you guys, I really want to smoke cigarettes, and I'm such an idiot because, like, I did it again, you know? Don't do that. If you, if you haven't smoked in a while, just don't do it. <laughs> so then, like, you do it again, and you'll just, like, get it in your head again. And it didn't even, like, do anything for you, and you just felt guilty about it, but you're still going to want it. That's what's so stupid about it. You've got two sticks, right? I don't know. Do I have two sticks? Remember not to open up the window. I'm not going to. I've been playing the, the organ sounds. I really like that. This is the same thing you were playing before, bitch. Don't even act like this is new. It's just the organ sound that it's in. It sounds a little different than what you're used to. Sorry, I had to speed that up. <laughs> I had to speed that up so we could go further in life. Um, probably not. So I'm going in to interview for this uh, job at a chicken shack called Zaxby's. And uh, uh, it's, it's like a southern corporate, ch well, I don't even think it's a corporate, it's a franchise. Um, God, I hope they're not judging me. That's always what my main concern is <laughs> when I apply for a job. I'm like, do they drug test? You know, in the vortex, you know, you fall in the same category with me. That's something you worry about. So. Why the company's drug test? Why does it matter? I'm just dropping shit into a fryer. Don't you think I should be happy there? Speaking of dropping shit into a fryer when you're high, I also work at Wendy's. Um, <laughs> Dave Thomas, he doesn't cut corners, and neither do I, and neither do I. Dave Thomas is 
was just also adopted. Did you guys know that? He's got like the Dave Thomas Foundation. For adoption, which is cool, you know? You know, at least he contributes something more to the world than just making really, really shit stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Did you throw pants to your... No, no, I didn't. I don't think so. Fuck. I don't know. That would really suck. If I went past my designated spot to turn. No, 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 it's up there, I think. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out eventually. You learn. You learn where you're going. You learn where not to go. You learn what not to say and what not to do. Life lessons from every girl. From us to you. You're really good at rhyming, you know. Oh, I know. Okay, we're really gonna have to turn, so hold on. <laughs> hold up, Vortex. I'm coming back to you with the tonage. Eventually. So yeah, I'm doing comedy tonight. I was going to do it last night, but I chickened out because I was such a piece of shit. And I just don't, when I tell myself, like, I don't want to drive that long. I mean, I don't give a fuck about the driving. It's just that's what I use as an excuse as to why I'm not going. <laughs> like, the driving is the best part. <laughs> I get to talk to myself about what I'm going to do, and it's not going to go well. <laughs> oh, my God, I almost hit that vehicle. Shit. Uh... <laughs> Is this really not smart to play your Yamaha? You thought I was paying attention to the road? No. I really like the organ sound, though. I just. I, I want an actual organ. My friend has one. Well, I don't know if he still has it. He might have sold it. You should ask him. Hey, Colton! Do you you stole that organ? Still waiting on a response. <laughs> he was my friend that put up with a lot of my shit. I'm so sorry. I totally pushed him away. He was like one of those people's like kindred spirit. I mean, he still is a kindred spirit. We're still, you know, I feel like kind of like if we talk like no time has passed but at the same time I just feel like there's this weirdness because you know the thing is with this illness that I have and I'm convinced that anybody that's like wants to spend a considerable amount of time with me probably has the same illness as me like if you don't get sick of my shit if you don't get sick of this wealth of crap you know this landfill of negativity like you don't get sick of it you probably have what I do but even people that have what I do get sick of my shit. That's the thing, like, and I get sick of my own shit. I get sick of other people's shit. I get sick of everything, you know? <laughs> anyway, I have to put this up. Gotta put this up. <laughs> Daylight donuts, who the fuck is this shit? You gotta check it out, man. Oh my God, there are new businesses in my shit suburb. Holy moly. I've updated that stating, that stating, stating. I've updated that saying, saying, saying. <laughs> Holy stoli. <laughs> it makes more sense because stoli is a uh, really, really good uh, vodka. I drank that um, on my birthday drank some stoli that I stole. <laughs> I stole some stoli from a 25th birthday that I don't remember. And I was like gonna go hang out with people that I had seen. My friend was gonna take me out to the bar to get me fucked up. And uh, I just ended up drinking a bottle of stoli. I just fucking killed the motherfucker. And I passed out. And I woke up, it was like 5 o'clock in the morning the next day. I was so pissed off. I 
people are being an alcoholic is not fun. Like, you think it's fun until you're doing that shit. And, like, you miss out on good opportunities to go get drunk elsewhere and actually have a real good time, you know? My friend Colton, he took me out to a bar. Like, I feel like, like a few days later, maybe like a week later or something like that. I don't remember the exact timing. I'm really bad with the timing. I just know that that was during uh, my year-long bender. Um, but that was one of, like, the few really good nights that I had. I had this big black dude that fingered me, um, behind a bar there. Um, and, uh, I don't even remember the name of this bar. Like, I don't remember anything about this bar. I just remember, like, this big-ass black dude coming up to me, feeling my coat. I, I was wearing a Wookiee coat. Wookiee, like, I don't know. I don't I can't make that noise. I wish I could make the chewy noise, but I can't do it. I've tried for years, and it just hurts me. It hurts my throat every time I try. Um, I can make a really weird Wookiee sound, though. It's weird. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I was wearing a Wookiee coat, and he kept coming up to me, going, nigga, feel this. <laughs> anyway, um, maybe I just added the N-word for effect. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that he did that one. He fingered me behind the bar. I can fucking say it. Um, if you're, you're going to let some random big black dude touch you at a bar, like, you're not a racist. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's like, I don't know his name. I don't, it's like, I'm sure he doesn't remember it either. <laughs> He's pretty fucked up too. I mean, I remember it. Like, you guys ever have blue outs? Do you know what blue outs are? Um, it's like a, a blackout, only like you go in and out of it. It's like, it's just like you're underwater. It's like, whoa, 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 it's cool. <laughs> you know, but it's like you tell yourself it's fun to be drowning. Uh, <laughs> that's alcoholism, you guys. I have so many jokes about alcoholism. I'm so glad that I threw my life down the drain. You have no idea. Like, it really is like winning the lottery. Like the shit lottery. That's, that's what it is. Um, anyway, I got to go in for this thing. I don't have um, anything else to say. Just kidding. There's more to come.